always ask me why I came up with snag and it's actually super embarrassing. I was walking around um, George Street, which is a very expensive shopping street in Edinburgh. And as I was walking along, I could feel my tights start to slip down. I could feel them slide down and then like they were mid thigh and then they slipped to my knee and then eventually they slipped under my knee. And at that point, as most women know, there is zero chance that you're going to be able to pull them back up again. They were down. So I had to bend down, take my shoes off, and take my tights off on the middle of George Street. And I was going, oh my God, I hope nobody saw. I bet nobody saw. Um, and then I turned around and about 200 people were watching me doing it. It was properly humiliating um, and funny. So as soon as I saw my friends, I told them the story and told them the trouble that I'd had finding tights that actually fitted, tights that didn't do that. And to my surprise, every single one of my friends had a similar story to share. I thought it was incredibly strange that a group of women of all shapes and sizes all heights and none of them could actually find a pair of tights they were happy with that were comfortable that fit them well and that's why i thought something had to be done about it so from there i thought we should really test and see whether or not this is true of all women so we did an amazing survey we talked to over 2,000 women all across the uk to ask them about their experience with tights and it came back that 90 percent of women couldn't find tights that fit and that absolutely blew my mind. I thought that was crazy and something absolutely had to be done about it, which is why Snag was born. Because, you know, for me, I couldn't find tights that fit me. And, you know, you're looking ahead at your life of wearing trousers and jeans and leggings and not wearing any of the things that you want to wear or feel comfortable. The pain of chub rub, just the general kind of you know, lack of choice around my life. And, you know, I might be fat, but that doesn't mean I should have no choice around what I wear or how I express myself. And, you know, I really did think something had to be done. And, and it was, wasn't just me, I wasn't just doing it for me. It was all of these women that felt exactly the same way, that were constricted in the same way, both physically and in the way that they dressed and the way they styled themselves. And I just didn't want that to be the truth. I didn't want that to be how the world worked anymore. Um, which is why it was something that I actually felt I had to do and not just something to complain about, I guess. <laughs>